Okay, the purpose of this video is to be uh, is to show you some examples of factoring binomials. Factoring's always been kind of tricky for a lot of people. Remember, factoring is just trying to express any type of a polynomial into um, product form, which means that you want to find what factors you can multiply to get the particular polynomial. Okay, and when you have binomials, okay, binomials mean that there's two terms that are separated either by an addition or subtraction. Okay, so binomials have two terms. There's really only four ways to factor binomials. Okay, and the first way is to always look and see what is common in each term. Now, that's really important that you do that first. So what is common in each term? Let me just write that off here to the side. When you look at this particular binomial here, you'll notice that each term does have common aspects to it, doesn't it? For example, 4 is a factor that goes into both terms. X is a factor that goes into both terms. So what you want to do is factor out the 4X first. Okay? I'm going to make that our second step. And that's going to leave you with just X squared minus, and 4X goes into 36X nine times. Okay? So, again, always check and see what is common in each term, okay? What are the common factors in each term? The second, way you want to, uh, second thing you want to look is for what's called a difference of squares. Now, what does that mean, a difference of squares? Well, you'll notice that the word difference means a subtraction. Squares means something that is just squared, something times itself. And you'll notice that when we have left over here, once we took out the 4x, is a difference of squares. So in our third step, we are going to continue to factor just this part. So now we have 4x, and then it'll be x plus 3, x minus 3. And you'll notice that now you have this completely factored, and you don't have any more... Um, uh, factoring to do, so to speak. Now, notice we've only had to go through two of these different ways of factoring. The other two ways are one that's called a difference of cubes, and again, it's whatever the name implies, and, and it implies that you'll have a subtraction of two numbers that have been cubed. And then the fourth type of um, way to factor binomials is what they call a sum of cubes. And I have two videos for you on those that you can actually check out. But this particular problem was a special request, so I hope that helped whoever asked for it. Okay, good luck to you.